guys, welcome to Great Goodness People, AG Executive Kitchen, where we cook and talk relationship. Today, I have special people in our studio, a very, very special and important people, and I'm privileged to have them in this studio today. I am so privileged, guys. I have no other person than our father, Reverend Henry Better, and his beautiful wife. This woman is beautiful. She's always smiling. The first time I met her, I was like, is this real or is she just faking it? Every time you look at her face, she's smiling. I have her too today in our studio with a husband, Reverend um, Mrs. Mrs. Adasi Better. <laughs> Sorry, pardon me for those things. She's going to introduce herself better, please. Mm -hmm. And I have my sister, the troublemaker in the house. Mm -hmm. Of course, you guys know her, the woman know. from the Delta, Paul Blessing. Yeah, and my humble self. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome, Pleased sir. to be here and um, bring you greetings from our church, yeah. the King's Family Church in Suleja, Niger wow. State. Thank you, sir. We are glad to be here. Thank you so much, Great Goodness Kitchen. Thank you, Ma. I appreciate this opportunity. I do not take it for granted. And for everyone out there listening, watching, I know that you are going to get impacted by what is going to be said here. Amen. Her Thank voice you. is so sweet, guys. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we don't want to take much of our time. Mm -hmm. The last program we did here, we talk about can is it good to marry a poor man? Mm -hmm. Or is if a man is poor, does it really make you know that he loves you? I guess you guys watch it on YouTube, Facebook page, Instagram, Telegram. Don't forget to watch it. Follow us and press the notification button so that whenever we upload our videos, you see them, guys. And then today we are looking at is jealous a sign of love or lack of trust? Is a jealous a proof of love or lack of trust? Mm -hmm. So we have our father today in the house and I'm not just inviting him because I've been to their church and I've seen him talk about relationship throughout the month of June. They have been on relationship, relationship, and it is very, very interesting. If you are in within the Suleja, I think they are still having it for this Sunday. Yeah, this you Sunday. can still go there. It's very interesting. You have rooms to talk, express your mind, ask questions. And I learned a lot of things that very day. So, Daddy, I want to ask you, as a man that had experience in marriage, and then you are not just a married man, you are also a great man of God. You have been part people generation and i i remember you talking about stories of experiences of um members and all that i remember one of the stories of a man that ran to you early morning so i want to ask you is jealousy really a proof of a man to show to his wife that he really really loved his wife or lack of trust hmm. uh, well uh, thank you for that question it's both ways really okay yes it could be a sign of love okay and it could also be a sign of distrust okay but um, you cannot talk about love without really talking about jealous yeah any relationship that does not have some element of jealousy is not genuine oh Yes, it's not real. Yeah. Of course, we know that the jealousy should be positive, not negative. Yeah. In other words, the jealousy should make you protect. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because even God is a jealous God. Mm -hmm. so yes. That's the truth. Uh -huh. God is a jealous God. So, jealousy could be... Well, now we have to define the context. It's not. We cannot just generalize it. Yeah. So within certain contexts, jealousy is a sign of love. Within another context, it could be a sign that you don't trust. Yeah. So it depends on the situation and the context mm -hmm. and the time. Okay. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Jealousy could be love. Yeah. It could also be when it's too much. Mm -hmm. That means it's no longer love. It's becoming either inferiority mm -hmm. or you know, lack of trust. Okay. Mm -hmm. Quickly, I want to ask mommy too. 
I know one thing, I've not really stayed so long with mommy, but I noticed something. I noticed that she's a very bold person. Even the way she walks, she's, she's very bold. <laughs> so I you. want to ask mommy, Ma, I want to ask you, um, if somebody has a husband or a wife that is not jealous at all, does not care, I think he loves her or loves him, but doesn't show sign of jealousy. Because I've seen some women trying to pull their husband to be jealous. Does it mean that the man does not love or the woman does not love the person? Actually, I want to say thank you again for this opportunity. And um, if we're looking at this question, I mean, you don't have to force somebody to be jealous. If they love you really, they'll be jealous because jealousy comes from trying sometimes to protect someone that you love or or a possession i don't want to say someone that you possess yeah people tend to be jealous over things that they love things that they don't want to walk away from things yeah. that they don't want to lose you know the fear of loss also brings about jealousy sometimes even past history with that person maybe they've heard that that person was not a faithful partner in their last relationship or they have given them things to cause them to suspect them yeah. so when a woman is in a marriage or even a relationship mm. with even with your siblings and they tend to just be indifferent to mm. what is happening in your life mm. you will have to think again about whether they actually love you because jealousy tends to want to protect yeah. to keep from losing so if i have to force my husband, for instance, to be jealous over me. If I'm not careful, then I'll start flirting around. I will enter into do rooms and domains that I'm not supposed to enter into. I begin to break some, some boundaries just to evoke jealousy from him. Yeah. If a man is not jealous over his wife, then he has become indifferent. Yeah. I would say both of them will have to check their own lives. Why is he feeling indifferent? Why is he not trying to jealously guard right. what belongs to him, in quotes, belonging. That's my own take on it. Thank you so much, Ma. Um, before I go back to Daddy, I want to quickly ask Sister Blessing, what do you think about those men who have relationship outside with, like, side chick, and yet they still get jealous about their wife? And they're always chasing after their wife, like suspecting their wife for me i feel that if by chance you have a relationship outside that is not your wife mm -hmm. and you have a wife you shouldn't be jealous of your wife because your heart is divided so when a man has a girlfriend or a side chick outside and he still gets so jealous about his wife mm -hmm. possessing the wife what do you think about that okay thank you mama um what i would say about that for me i don't believe a man who genuinely loves his wife tends to cheat. I don't believe in that. Mm -hmm. So as long as you can cheat on your wife and then you are still putting up this attitude of jealousy, like trying to possess her, I think a man is either trying to fake a kind of thing there. Yeah. You know? So me, I, I, for my own, I feel if the man genuinely loves that wife of his, I don't think we go out there and be doing this the side chick stuff. But because of the fear of the unknown, you know when uh, I won't give one proper for my language that maybe I cannot give up. Mm. You, know, eh? you sure. know when <laughs> you know when oh, oh they say Obuma, that who oh, they use knife, they cut people, person. You know the woman knife, cut her. Yeah. Now be that way that man they do. It's not like he's actually jealous of his stuff. It's just that fear because he's that's guilty, guilty conscience. conscience. Now he's he's doing. Doing. Yes, that's what he's displaying. It's not like he's jealous over the wife because he knows what he's doing. Maybe he's out there, especially if he's this kind of man that maybe sleeps around with people's wife, you know? They have this fear in them that as long as they can do that to someone else's wife, that means there's these chances of their wife also doing it with another man. Yeah. So that is where that thing comes in. Not that they are like, because this jealousy we are talking, talking about now is that kind of jealousy that protects. Is that kind of jealousy that I want to really possess what they have. Because you cannot be jealous over me if you don't own me. 
you get. Jealous always come, comes when you own a thing. You don't jealous over a thing you don't own. Okay. I also want to say that one of those things that brings jealousy that makes a man to or a woman to be extremely jealous even when it's like it's over possessive at times it's because of the past experience they have in life if you have a past um a, a relationship that you once have a heart broken mm. some people extend their past life into their present life that also can also cause funny jealousy that is very very uncomfortable for the partner mm -hmm. so daddy i want to ask how do we know that this jealousy is not getting out of hand this is the right way to be jealous of a wife or a husband mm -hmm. well, <laughs> jealousy can get out of hand if it's right if or because it's protected mm -hmm. you're trying to protect what you value who you value uh, of course just like um, anger mm -hmm. jealousy is an emotion Mm. And um, just like anger, the Bible says, be angry and sin not. Mm. Okay? Mm. That's Ephesians 4 verse 26. So be angry but don't sin. Mm. You know, there was not allow that anger to lead you to sin. But you have a right to be angry. Mm. So a woman or a man in a relationship has a right to be jealous. But they are not allowed to allow it make them destroy. Mm do something wrong yeah mm -hmm. so they can go to any extent to protect but don't sin in it yeah uh -huh. so let me also add something to what, uh, what she said what she said yeah if you think that just because a man is cheating mm -hmm. he will not be jealous if his wife is uh, trying to cheat yeah that he doesn't have right because he's cheating yes Morally, maybe he doesn't have a right. No, I won't say, I won't say that. Okay. But also know that men are, like they say, okay? Yes, sir. That men are polygamous in nature. in nature. Women are not. Yes. So, just because a man has a wife does not mean that if he goes out with another woman, which is wrong, yes. I'm not endorsing that, yeah. that he will be okay or just afraid yeah if his wife no that jealousy is already inside him okay. that this woman is my wife okay. it's not necessarily that he's even afraid of anything okay. even if he just he may trust his wife that my wife can do the same okay. but just the fact that he even sees her talking to another person yes it could be also from the background of mm -hmm. what I am doing to mm -hmm. other people's wives. Mm -hmm. Let nobody do to mine. Mm -hmm. It could be from that. But it could also just be a natural thing that I don't want anybody to invade the intimate relationship mm -hmm. I have with my wife. Yeah. He's been threatened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So once, a, a, once a, you see a man is like... A, how do they put it? It's like a lion who protects his territory. Yeah. A man is territorial. Yeah. He protects his territory. So his wife, his children, his properties are like his territory. Mm. He protects it. So if another man comes into the picture, mm. what do you think he would do? He would just sit down and mm. no. Uh, he will he will attack. attack yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I want to ask mommy this. But don't you think that insecurity can make a man to be very jealous? Yes, mm -hmm. actually. Even when he doesn't love the person. Mm -hmm. Yes, it can because jealousy can be perceived. There is what is called, I think in psychology, anxious jealousy. A jealousy, anxious jealousy is a jealousy that is, is just perceived. Mm -hmm. He just feels that there is a possibility. He has no proof. Yeah. But he just feels that there is a possibility. Mm -hmm. There is a perceived threat mm -hmm. that they, 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 this woman or this husband or this wife of mine mm -hmm. is not faithful. Yeah. He could look at the way she talks to somebody, the way she laughs, and say, ah, ah she hasn't been laughing with me like mm -hmm. that. You know, because mm -hmm. jealousy can be envious. Don't forget. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jealousy can also be resentful. And when jealousy is envious or resentful, it will come out negative. Then it will no longer be protective. Mm. It will be like the lion he was talking about. 
that is just ready to attack mm. and will attack whether the wife or the perceived threat. Mm. Remember that we're using the word perceived. Yes, it's yeah. not sure of it. Yeah. And so it becomes insecure. Mm. If we can look at it, it can stem from insecurity in the sense that she's giving him or he's giving her what he doesn't give me or what she doesn't give me. So she's laughing. She seems to be having the fun of her life talking to this guy or him talking to this mm -hmm. lady and then she begins to feel insecure, mm -hmm. begins to feel I'm not enough. Mm -hmm. And that alone is able to make her to or him begin to look for ways to attack mm -hmm. and do maybe harm sometimes yes. to the other person. That's true. Thank you so That's much. Nice. Thank you. So much. Another thing I want to say before I ask the next person, I also want to say that um, jealousy in relationship is not just only the aspect of love. I've seen people that are jealous of their husband or their wife or their whatever. Maybe the person is doing very well. Better. Better. He's doing very well in business and you see trying to act as if he's protecting you, mm. stopping you from mm. being active, mm. from being productive. You see them say, don't go to this place. Mm. How can my wife go to market and come back by this time? Mm. Is my wife what will you say about that kind of jealousy? Is he advisable to be in that kind of relationship? Because, you know, when you talk about jealousy, for me, I feel that jealousy should be calm. You feel protected as a woman, as a man, when you see the right jealousy, you know? Mm, yeah. You feel, oh, baby, who is that? Okay. Jealousy doesn't mean that you won't trust the person. Mm -hmm. Because there are some jealousy that is so bad. Mm -hmm. No matter how you want to give the explanation, mm -hmm. the person will not believe. Uh, yeah. Whatsoever he or she has yeah. believed, mm -hmm. That's it's what it will go through. So what will you say, Sister Blessing? When you have, when you, let me not say when you have, when you see someone who the husband or the wife say is jealous, doesn't allow you to trade, mm. doesn't allow you to go to business, mm. it doesn't allow you to have independence, mm. not making a woman to have independence. Is it love or what? <laughs> I don't think that is love. When she finishes that one mommy and that will throw more light. I don't think, well, yes, I think daddy and mommy will throw more light. <laughs> <laughs> for me, oh, I don't think oh, uh, yeah. that is not love for me. Yeah. Because you will make the woman, if she don't really know herself, she will lose self-confidence. Yeah. All the time she's out there, she will be afraid. Mm. You know, you make her lose many things. Mm. But so, back to mommy and daddy, you let them do justice to it. <laughs> yes, I already started asking this question when I knew that this question is not for me. So I want daddy to take over the question. Oh my God. Uh, well, no, no, no. That's that's a wrong um, jealousy. perception. Yes, yeah. um, jealousy. Because... Um, we, a wife, if somebody's wife should work not only because they want to make money mm -hmm. or they want to put food on the table, no, but they want to fulfill a God given purpose. Yeah, because God brought everybody into this world with a purpose. Mm -hmm. So, if the person's purpose is like business and you tell them because you are jealous, yeah. you tell them not to do that business. What, you, what we've realized in pastoring is that eventually that woman will become frustrated mm. because now she's not doing what she loves and is passionate about but you're keeping her home. Yeah. All because you are jealous that maybe if she goes out to do business mm -hmm. you are afraid. It also stems from insecurity mm -hmm. and a lack of trust. You are afraid that people will see her and talk to her and woo her. You don't trust yourself and you don't trust your spouse that no matter where she goes, who sees her, that she will be, she's yours. Yeah. She has made up her mind. Mm -hmm. It means that you don't trust her. Yeah. And it also means that you, it, that's not love. Mm -hmm. Love is, uh, love helps you to bring out the best in the person. that God has put yeah. inside you. Yeah. So if that, if it's business that will bring out the best, <laughs> <laughs> if it's her doing business that will bring out the best, you help her do the business. Yeah. I think, I believe that, that's it. Yeah, thank you so much, mommy. Really? Um, jealousy. <laughs> I don't know how people cope with jealousy, but mm. well, <laughs> yeah, sometimes people get jealous of achievements, which is something that you are trying to, or yeah. you were talking about, you know. 
you can be jealous of someone's achievements. Absolutely. Now, let's just take a small detour. Like, you know, we, talk, we were talking earlier about me smiling and all of that. And now imagine that my husband knows that ah, people appreciate the fact that I smile a lot and mm. all of that. And then here I am standing with somebody. People are being attracted to me. If he is insecure or afraid, he will begin to move jealousy into a negative zone mm -hmm. and begin to try to cut me off. Don't forget that we said that one, like Sister Blessing said, you are jealous over something that you own. Okay, so mm -hmm. if he feels that he owns me or I am his rather, mm -hmm. and he is mine, and it looks like intruders are coming in because I tend to be open and smiling and mm -hmm. they are receiving me, then I will not like to be rude, but the natural thing to do would be to try to shut it down. Mm -hmm. So it might be a natural um, conclusion for them mm -hmm. to just try to shut that wife off. Mm -hmm. I think what they can do, even though we're not talking about what to do, but I think what the wife can do at that time is to reassure him. Where reassurances are not working, then we know that fear has stepped in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's not like they're trying to to stop that person from being all that they want to be, but they have become afraid that this person, ah, they might leave me. Mm -hmm. So many people coming around them, mm -hmm. people that maybe they will mm -hmm. perceive are better than them. Mm -hmm. So they now want to shut all those avenues down. It's like mm -hmm. a, a, a father, sorry, who, who knows that his daughter is beautiful and in quote, might be the best, might, might be the most beautiful on the block. Mm -hmm. And then, um, it says from now on, no more going out. Mm -hmm. You know, now that's not the right approach, but he's afraid that maybe she'll be violated mm -hmm. or maybe somebody will take her. That, away. Mommy, sorry to comment. That example you are giving is, is even very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Because what I'm saying is, some people jealousy look like as if they are sick. Mm. As if they have mental issues. Mm. I think it's. I think scientifically, I think it's a problem for some people. Mm. So it's exactly. like some part of their head. I don't know how. It's not connecting. It's not connecting. It's like because, upbringing, mama. Be, because the jealous, yeah, upbringing can also cause it. Yes. The way you are yeah. raised, yeah. maybe the man sees the mom sorry, mm. so wayward. Or a, 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 a woman see the father mm. doing Treating that, more that same yes, way. can yeah. also bring it because yeah. some people jealousy is almost like sickness, like mm. bondage, mm. Yeah. not minding the pain the other person because it's painful when you continue to explain to your partner, no, I didn't do it, mm. no, because it has led to death. Yes, it has led to mm. uh, violence. It has led to you it know it's painful to be in a relationship and the person never trusts you. Mm. It is so painful to be into it. So okay. I feel that re jealousy should be moderate. You should first of all trust the person you are dating. Mm. Now, for me, what I see as jealousy, first of all, you have to trust the person. Sure. Then, when you trust the person, there if the person is passing the boundary mm. because of independent or mm. you over trust you cannot I mean remind the person yeah. we are married we are in a relationship yeah. you don't have to go out without my permission yeah. you know? it's a different thing from that permanent mm, don't go. pain mm. that yeah. some people do mm. you, you know some people go as far as accusing their wife mm. Mm. even when it's not true mm. they go as far as telling people mm. that their wife is into devious mm. things and mm. it's not true mm. so i feel for me you should also um, that's no longer love. That's yeah. almost pain. Mm. Because what would the person do? Mm. Lying against the person. Mm. So quickly, Daddy, we want to ask you, sir, if you are in a relationship, because jealousy, when they talk about violence in marriage, mm. jealousy is also violent. Yeah, yeah. Can lead to that, yeah. It, it's so violent, mm. babe. Yes. The person, you, you will not have peace. It's like you are coming back, somebody say, hi. Trouble. Your husband or your wife is in just face front. <laughs> the person would think you are yeah. having colors. <laughs> Not knowing that you are trying to avoid uh, avoid. Yeah, maybe ever. you bump yeah. into your cosmate in the supermarket. No way. Ah, uh, this is not this. So, <laughs> what is wrong? I, I not, some people feel you have now having pride. Yeah. Some people now say you snob yeah. because you are with your partner. You yeah. can't talk. So women yourself. go as far as almost running mental when their husband pick a call. They run around. They are, they are body. You can't understand how this goes. <laughs> Things can lead to it. But I feel that, like, I want to come in. What do you think 
a man or woman to, can do to help themselves because a lot of people want to go out of this bondage mm. like i'm talking about the one now jealous mm. i don't I, I will later ask you if it's so excess what do you think someone can do okay. now if a man because somebody's going to watch this video mm. is living in a relationship where he's so much jealous mm. that he doesn't trust his wife or the wife does not trust the husband mm. he some cannot even sleep mm. some can start shaking mm. shaking and be sweating nothing is going on mm. and then somebody has to be tapping inside nobody i saw my wife mm. i uh, the, no sir it's not true the wife needs so how do they go out of this bondage because i feel it's a bondage yeah, it is, it is. what do you think the person mm. can do mm. to help his or herself to have a better life mm. because you can even the person can even slump one day and die mm. because and of the this pain that is not real mm. so what do you think they can do to help yourself they should suspect less it's not easy yeah. <laughs> Some of them are well, not of them. no 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 nothing the good therapy. in life comes easy yeah. you must now train yourself to <laughs> to one believe in yourself the the, the, the challenge is some of these people don't trust themselves. themselves. Yes. Once you don't trust yourself, you can't, trust you can't, anybody. You can't do it. You can't make it. Everybody's a suspect. Mm. You can't make it. So some are also even jealous of their themselves. Yeah. They can't just, they can't help it. But you start by trusting yourself. Yeah. Being at peace with yourself. Mm. Okay? Give yourself peace. You know? Of course. The other spouse should not give any reason yeah. for distrust. But you yourself, trust yourself. So these people trust you are talking God. to now, mm. their spouse or their partner have no issue. It's, it's a them. sickness yes. that needs to be cured. So just like Sister Blessing said earlier, yes, sir. some is from childhood, what they saw, mm. what they observed. Yeah. Maybe how um, their father was sleeping around. Yeah. Now she's married. She's a young girl growing up. Yeah. She saw how her father was sleeping around, yeah. getting girls pregnant, and her mother was crying. So now she's married. She doesn't trust any man, yes. even her husband. Yes. So if her husband comes back late, her mind goes back to maybe that's what how it started with my mother. Mm. Meanwhile, the man just maybe uh, was in a hold up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. So they need therapy. They, they need, need yes. They, they need, need they need counseling. They do have this they kind of therapy. people in Nigeria. They That's why you are here. Ah, uh, they do. Constant talking. Yes, they okay. need. They so need to come like out. This. They need to come out. Mm -hmm. And then themselves. say what led them into. into it. Yes. Yeah. So Some people are the, the cause of their problem. Mm, go back to the foundation and redo it. Mm. You know, and all of that. Yeah. and begin to trust themselves and begin to trust that my father could have been like that my mother is mm. not, my wife is not mm. like that mm. or my father could have been like that my husband is not, is not like that mm. yes mm. stop suspecting your spouse mm. you see sometimes we put ourselves on autopilot or automated mode you know mm. your husband's phone rings you want to know oh, who is calling mm. you will have high blood pressure i'm telling mm. you <laughs> for me mm. i have my husband saying Pain. but you know the funny thing i've forgotten it so sometimes when it says open my phone i'm like i don't even remember it that takes me to my childhood when i was a little girl if you were passing by somebody's house and you dare to look into the house and my mother caught you hey or we went visiting and you said you wanted to use the toilet yeah hey, hey. it happens once we just leave that place she will just pack the car pull you from whether back or front or she will ask, the first question my mother will ask you is so when you went there what did you see you'll be like how mm. i didn't go to look for anything say, no. if you didn't go to look for anything <laughs> how come you had to ease yourself in that house? and you're like ah. okay so that was how we were brought up Sometimes when I see people looking into your car, mm. you know, you see people driving mm. and you are driving too. Mm. And they are looking. They will even look at you as if they know you I think they know you, yes. I think, try to, if that's your upbringing, to snoop around, try to reduce it so mm. that 
you can help your heart to to function well. Well. And then, well. the partner too i think one of us has said it the partner too don't um don't leave room for suspicion because don't forget that jealousy is is fed by suspicions mm -hmm. it just feels that because my father was like this mm -hmm. then everybody who behaves like this mm -hmm. will like turn it. out like this yeah. uh -huh. so at the end of the day too we could be talking therapy we could be talking them uh, counseling yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. one. thank you so much thank you so much yeah. lastly um i want to say if you have someone that is in a relationship where the jealousy is so high it's leading to violence no trust every day i've seen couples like that every day you argue you're talking trying to convince them no that what will you advise the partner to do is it enough to work out if if it has gotten to abuse physical yeah and other forms of abuse what we recommend as uh, pastors is first of all let there be a separation yeah. Okay, you can't just go straight to divorce because except there's an adultery in it, yeah. and except there's an abandonment issue. Yeah. But if it's just that suspicion and it's leading to abuse now, maybe hot slap. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> every once in a while, hot slap. We, we usually recommend stay apart mm -hmm. so that maybe in that time you are apart. You can go through counseling. Mm -hmm. If it's a church, you go to your pastor. We take you through counseling, both of you, and deal with the issues because there are fundamental issues that caused that jealousy and suspicion, and which led to the abuse. So once you deal with those issues, you can now come back together. Okay. Because if not, um, sometimes abuse left untreated. We eventually lead to somebody's death. Yeah. We've seen several cases. Let's manage, let's manage, let's manage. Mm -hmm. No. Separate. There's nothing wrong with separating. Mm -hmm. You are not divorced yet. You're just staying apart while you I deal with you the issues heal. if you can heal and come back. Yeah. I want to quickly say this. If you are a Christian and you're watching us today, one of the ways to get out of an addiction, because I feel that some jealousy has become an addiction, something mm. you are possessed of someone, mm. it's no more love. Yeah. There's a limit you get jealous of someone, you know that this is not love. Something that makes you sick is not love. Mm. Something that makes you feel as if you are passing out is not love. Mm. If you are not married, I think it's advisable to end that relationship. Sure. Anything that makes you feel inferior, anything that makes you feel as if something is happening to you, it's not love get it so if you are a christian and you are married and you still love the person genuinely but you have a problem with jealousy i advise you seek god to take out your time pray to god ask god to help you one thing i've seen in my little life i know that there is nothing i've ever gone to meet god with to go to god with god will always answer me anytime i go to him for a particular problem it we always answer you. So if you go to God and tell God genuinely, mm. I want to get out of this situation. It's getting out of hand. I don't know what to do. God will help you. And then if you are a man or a woman, you are the cause of it. You make your wife or your husband to feel jealous. Please so repent. You heard what men of God said. Daddy said, change from me. Mm -hmm. He said, don't make your partner feel bad to the extent that the person don't derive pressure in, in people's pain. It's very wrong. So lastly, Daddy, um, I just want you to give couples advice generally. Because like I said earlier, not just because you are a pastor, there are a lot of pastors that have failed in relationships. There are a lot of pastors that we cannot wish to have their kind of home. Even though I've not really been with you, I've met you like this is the fourth or third time, without being told there is love in your home. Yeah. So quickly, I want you to tell the world, what do we do to make our home perfect? Okay. Yes, um, uh, uh, amazingly, Friday will be our 27th wedding anniversary. Wow. So fast. Guys, you here. And Friday. the wife is in gay gay. <laughs> Did you see her cat working? Please <laughs> come here to capture it. Mm. Uh, Did you see her hairstyle? <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, well, wow. uh, for marriage to work, no marriage can be perfect, yeah. first of all, but a marriage can be strong. A marriage can keep improving. Yeah. A marriage can keep getting stronger and stronger. Mm. For you to ha- do that, you must have a consciousness that marriage is a covenant yeah. with each other. And a covenant is not different from a contract. The covenant says, I love you in spite of whatever is going on. Mm. You understand? Mm-hmm. I, I will always be there mm-hmm. for you yeah. and with you. We will go through the rain, we will go through the sunshine mm. together. Also, know, uh, our viewers should know that marriage is a choice. You make a choice to belong to somebody mm-hmm. and that choice is for life. If everything goes, you know, seamlessly, that choice is just there. Yeah. Then marriage also demands that there be enough communication. Talk to each other. Communicate. Talk about things. Talk about things. Because sometimes it's those unspoken words, those things we have not said that are the issues mm-hmm. and causing problems. Yeah. Because you will not come out and talk. The thing is burning inside you. Mm-hmm. And you can't bring it out. But if you bring it out in a loving way and in a caring way mm-hmm. and in a humble way mm-hmm. and you deal with it, then you move on. Mm-hmm. But most couples don't talk with each other. Instead, they talk at each other. Yeah. They mm-hmm. shout at each other. Mm-hmm. But they never sit down to say, let's talk about this thing. Mm-hmm. What do we do about this? Instead, Everybody, in fact, men don't even talk in the first place. Mm-hmm. So the woman may be nagging and nagging, but that's not, they are not communicating. <laughs> yes, because she's, she's, she thinks she's talking mm-hmm. because she's saying something. Yeah. He's not hearing anything. All he's hearing, <laughs> yes, he's not, he's not but hearing. You, you but you he's hearing, yes. <laughs> his ears are blocked because she's nagging. Yeah. Okay. So that's not communication. Okay. For communication to be effective, both of you must sit down and talk. And talk. One person is talking, the other person is listening with their attention in the matter. And they are not talking about what happened in 1976. They are talking about the present situation. Mm. Nobody is taking it back to when our when, when we I, first met. That's how you did. That's how you did. That's how you did like this. 1976. 1986. You did the same thing. No, no, that's not. Talk about the issue now. What is going on now? Mm. So most couples lack some of these things. Okay. Most couples lack. So once communication is there, that consciousness of a covenant is there. Mm. That consciousness that this woman is my choice. This Mm. this woman is my choice. I chose her well, among I, all the many. See how mommy is looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's looking at her like, I'll do anything for you. And anything for you. So what? That's like, this is the eye. <laughs> That's eyes. You know? No, yeah. She's <laughs> like looking. He's looking. She's a fairy. She's a fairy now. She's a fairy. Her husband is on point. She's not looking. Ah. You don't know that love looking, they don't frown They don't frown <laughs> <anything. laughs> So, once these things are in place, mm. and then prayers, mm. prayers, then the word of God. You try to do the word of God. Mm. Try to live by the word of God. Mm. Everything will be fine. Yeah. Everything will be fine. I don't know if I can change something yet. No, let mommy talk okay. first. Okay. But I'm trying to know what they, what they did <laughs> okay. to get to where they are. They okay. are in the boat. Yeah. yeah. So, mommy? I will say every marriage that you see working is because they are working it. Yes. Mm. There is no. Both of them must. You see, sometimes people think, ah, these two people that are meant for each other. I don't believe so. Mm. Remember that. If we go back to our African culture, our parents or grandparents or grand aunts and uncles, some of them they had never met. They just brought the girl from some village like mm. that with her box on her head and mm-hmm. said, This is your oh, new wife. Mm. And they stayed for years until either of them died, their children, and they could look at their relationship. And it was good. So marriage is worked at. I'm not saying go and marry a total stranger, mm. but marriage can be worked at. If marriage mm. is worked at by two willing people, 
that have decided that I've chosen you mm. and you have chosen me and we'll be in this together. Mm. Sometimes there are things that you will not find palatable. You don't have to jump out of the boat. You mm. can stay there and work it out. As long as your life is not threatened, mm. I think we can work any okay. marriage out. Mm. And then we keep going from there. Since there's no perfect person, then you can't have any perfect marriage. But marriage can be watered. One of the things I would say is there has to be an understanding. Okay. There has to be openness also. Yeah. You know, this is who I am. It doesn't mean that I should not change, but this is how I came to you. This is how you saw me. This is who you are. I perceive who you are. And then both of us working together to make it work. We will definitely have shortcomings mm. we might have to go and call somebody else to help us mm. because in africa here yeah, they keep telling us you should not have a third party mm, who is this third party if this marriage breaks don't you will not have only one third party you will have third parties because everybody mm. will hear your business on the streets so if you know somebody who can help at any point in your marriage to make sure that you are able to steer your boat well mm -hmm. then call on that person not out of a gossip or yeah. an about kind of thing but mm. because you need help yeah. and yeah. that person can be trusted to help you because mm -hmm. i don't think that there's Telling any the right marriage. person mm -hmm. yes. yeah i don't think there's any marriage that hasn't gotten an input from some other person mm -hmm. or some other people yeah. for every marriage to work we must have people that can help us they could be pastors they could be counselors, they could be our parents, they could be aged neighbors mm. whose marriage we see and we admire. Yeah. And then we can go to them and just, we are not reporting your mm. your, your partner Spouse. to them. We are just telling them that, look, we need help. If there's any way you can help yeah. us. Yeah, so starting the right advice. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the last thing I'll say is, like my husband will always say, don't try to change your spouse. Start by changing yourself. yourself. Mm -hmm. If you, if your spouse tells you, I don't like this, don't go ahead with it just because I feel that he loves me and he says, I don't like drinking water in the bottle. Every day I keep giving him in the bottle. Mm -hmm. That's not being nice. He mm -hmm. is loving me, but am I loving him by doing something that irritates him? You understand? Mm -hmm. So you should put the other person too in perspective mm -hmm. and build together. Thank you Thank so you much. You say you wanted to say something. Uh, <laughs> you, say you know, that area that he was talking about uh, communication between the spouses, like you talk and the other one listens. You know, sometimes we, we listen to attack. Mm, which uh, is wrong. So, which is wrong. That's mm. what I just want to chip in. Don't okay. listen to attack. attack. Mm. Rather listen to adjust. Mm. Okay. And when you want to talk, don't talk to be defensive because mm. sometimes we listen. And then we are picking points. We're calculated. Yes, to defend. <laughs> <ourselves>. the, <laughs> don't come out to defend mm -hmm. when you are talking. Mm -hmm. Don't be defensive. Mm -hmm. When you want to talk, go straight to your point, talk, and then accept and adjust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we will move. That on. one you are saying now is when the marriage still have understanding, mm -hmm. when two people are still in a very good relationship, mm -hmm. when you know that your partner is not oppressing you, mm -hmm. so you will always listen and say, oh dear, yeah. this is not how it is. Mm -hmm. okay. But when you have gotten the understanding that this, this you mm -hmm. always want to have that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So guys, um, we want to say today, thank you. Today we're ending this program here. And then I want to quickly put this. Um, I've heard so many times people say for marriage to work, one person must play a part of a fool. I don't know whether you have the opinion for a person to be a fool. Mm, yes. Being a fool does not categorically mean you don't have... I feel being a fool is playing the wise one here. That's what they are actually saying in that context, like being the fool in the marriage is being the more matured one, is being the more sensible the one. one that will thoroughly. Yes, it's yes. not like I also believe that one person should or uh, one person will always play that role yes. of more matured or more patient. Yeah. In marriage, two people cannot have the same mind. Yes. You know, and then secondly, I also believe that in marriage is for two people. Yeah. A situation yeah. where one person is building the marriage and the other no, is not working. Work. Yes, work. yes, it yes. Work. Because I've seen, I've seen where people say it's the only one that will say I love you. Mm. It's the only one yeah. that will do this. It's the only one day the person will get tired. Yeah. So if you are watching us, you've heard them. It's not like 
They are 27 years next mm. week. This weekend, Abby? This Friday. This Friday. Day after wow. Apart from their spiritual parents, so many people, they have had experience, they've got that experience. They have met people that have marriage that is not working. They've tried, they've amended homes and yes. all that. And they have their own experience. So we're going to put their phone number when we are downloading this thing. They can call them for advice too. You understand me? Just anything that you need to ask, ask them, or you forward the question to us, we send it to them, they will answer you too. So marriage is very, very sweet. You know, yeah. sometimes you meet some people, you think that marriage is not sweet. Mm. Marriage is sweet. It's sweet. It's when you sweet. see, like, them being here for some hours, I can see that, that, that relationship, that vibe, that, that, no, no, that vibe, that, that, not shaking it. Do you understand? It doesn't mean that they won't have their differences, but that joy. Yeah. You know, when you see people that have the presence of God, you will feel the joy of God in you. Mm. You will feel happy. Mm. When you meet couples yeah, that are I'm not happy, mm. you have the word rubbing yeah. Rubbing, yeah. yeah. rubbing others. So I'm so glad. I'm so happy to have them. Um, Ngo Zingo, thank you for making me to yes, meet so. those people. <laughs> Bring it to <laughs> Even if you are not here, <laughs> you know. <laughs> And I want to say thank you, mommy. God bless you so much. Thank God you bless so you, much. sir. Thank you. We are so really much. happy. <laughs> we are privileged to have you. So, guys, this is great goodness, people. AG Executive Kitchen, where we cook and talk relationship. We are stopping here. And then I want to also let you know that, that anytime we can always call on you. Yeah. You understand? No so, problem. thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ngozingo. No matter where you are hidden, thank you so much. Love you all. Bye-bye. Bye.